The Washington Commanders are on the cusp of a major transformation. Feels like decades since fans in Washington have had anything to be truly excited about, but that could change quickly. A new coaching staff led by head coach Dan Quinn and offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury promises a complete overhaul of the team's previous philosophy, particularly on offense, which we'll be discussing in this video. And some of the recent offseason moves, particularly the signing of veteran quarterback Marcus Mariota, give us insight into the new regime's master plan moving forward. So let's get right into it. Since this video is going to dissect the future of the commander's offense, it's prudent that we look at the new man calling the plays. And that is offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury, who the team brought in after he recently spent a year at the University of Southern California. Kingsbury is widely regarded as one of the more creative offensive masterminds and has worked with plenty of talented quarterbacks who share some similar traits. His offense, known as the Air Raid, which is basically a pass-heavy scheme that relies on spreading the field and attacking downfield, has been undeniably successful at the collegiate level. In fact, quarterbacks such as Patrick Mahomes, Johnny Manziel, and most recently projected first overall pick Caleb Williams have all thrived within his system. However, the style has limitations at the NFL level. The air raid could be considered somewhat one-dimensional since it sort of neglects the running game, and that type of predictability would offer an advantage to talented NFL defenses. Though these concerns are understandable, Kingsbury's tenure with the Arizona Cardinals revealed a willingness to adapt. While he was able to incorporate some of the core principles of the air raid, such as quick throws, innovative passing concepts, and exploiting space, Kingsbury was also able to incorporate a more balanced approach. The Cardinals had a surprisingly effective running game. They effectively utilized gap schemes and creative formations to create opportunities for their backs when Kingsbury was running the show, so clearly he's capable of adjusting his scheme to compete in the pros. The type of running attack that Kingsbury deployed in Arizona suits Brian Robinson Jr., the team starting back perfectly. Robinson is a physical runner who has experience in a similar gap scheme at Alabama. Still, Kingsbury's bread and butter will never be his running game. Instead, the offense will revolve around the team's future quarterback, and the team's recent moves give hints as to who that will be. Beyond balance, Kingsbury's system thrives on quarterback mobility. He wants a signal caller who can extend plays with his legs, manipulate the pocket, and create opportunities outside the structure of the play. That's why the Commanders recently traded last year's starter Sam Howe to the Seahawks. The truth is that Howe's skill set didn't perfectly align with Kingsbury's vision. Howe is a more traditional pocket passer, lacking the elite athleticism that Kingsbury desires from his quarterbacks. To replace him on the roster, the team signed veteran quarterback Marcus Mariota. Mariota won the Heisman Trophy in college before going second overall in the 2015 NFL Draft. The expectation was for him to become the franchise quarterback for the Titans, but things didn't work out as planned. He showed flashes of brilliance and even won a playoff game, but ultimately after five seasons in Tennessee, the team decided to move on from him and hand the reins to Ryan Tannehill. Since then, he's bounced around the league a bit. Last season, Mariota was the Philadelphia Eagles backup quarterback and barely had to play. The previous season, however, he was the Atlanta Falcons starting quarterback, starting in 13 games. In those games, he performed rather admirably, especially compared to the quarterback that the Falcons deployed after his departure. He threw for 2,219 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. He also used his legs to run for 438 yards and an additional 4 touchdowns. For those that don't know much about Mariota, the dude can outrun the majority of starters in the NFL today. As a 30-year-old veteran with plenty of game experience and athleticism to boot, Mariota remains one of the more compelling options around the league for teams in need of a new school mobile quarterback. The vet's going to fit into Kingsbury's scheme seamlessly. But the truth is that Mariota likely wasn't brought in to be the team starter. Instead, he's going to likely be one of the league's most highly paid backups and a mentor to a young star that the commanders are going to draft with their second overall pick. And his introductory press conference revealed that he's likely very aware of his fate. This is what he told reporters. I bring a lot of value in a lot of different aspects. If I'm called on to be ready to play, I'm very confident in that, and I'm also very confident in my role as a mentor. Whatever this staff, whatever this team needs of me, I'm going to do it to the best of my abilities and ultimately try to win some games here. I've been a starter, won a playoff game. I've also been cut. I've also been injured. I've also been benched. All those experiences create value and create opportunities for me to build relationships with guys. I can build with the top guy on the roster to the very bottom of the roster. 
I think that's important. Sometimes you need guys like myself to be able to glue guys together and be an advocate for the guys. Those don't exactly sound like the words of a guy who thinks he's coming in to take over the starting gig. Instead, it sounds like a veteran excited and willing to accept the role of backup. So who's going to be the starter, you ask? Well, barring a surprise at the draft, it seems pretty clear. Though Kingsbury would likely love to draft Caleb Williams, the quarterback who he worked with this past season at USC, that's rather unlikely since right now the odds are that the Bears are going to select him with the first overall pick. Instead, the Commanders are likely to draft another young star who will fit into Kingsbury's scheme perfectly. And that leads us to Jaden Daniels, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner from LSU. Daniels is the epitome of the dual-threat quarterback Kingsbury covets. He possesses a strong arm with excellent accuracy and anticipation throws, but his true brilliance lies in his escapability and rushing ability. In 2023, Daniels racked up over 1,100 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. His ability to extend plays and create scoring opportunities on the ground is what will separate him from Drake May, the other quarterback projected to go top five. One of Kingsbury's hallmarks is his extensive use of run-pass options, which he used extensively with Kyler Murray in Arizona. These plays force the defense to commit pre-snap, allowing the quarterback to exploit their alignment with either a run or a pass based on a quick read. Daniel's dual threat ability makes him particularly capable at running RPOs. Defenses will have to respect his game-breaking running ability, which in turn will create open opportunities down the field. And if defenses spread out to stop the passing game, Daniels has the talent to slice them apart on the ground. On top of his talent, Daniels seems to be a natural leader who earned the respect from his teammates for his work ethic and positive attitude. His poise and composure under pressure have also enabled him to dominate for LSU. The commanders are going to hope that those qualities translate into the NFL. But Daniels is not without his flaws. Sometimes he struggles with decision-making under pressure and forces throws into tight coverage. Also, his experience in a spread offense might necessitate some adjustments to the more pro-style approach of the NFL. However, the upside is undeniable. Daniels has the potential to be a transformational player for the Commanders. It's clear that the Washington Commanders are poised for a new era, and some of the most critical building blocks are already being set. With a fresh coaching staff led by the innovative Cliff Kingsbury and a potential franchise quarterback in Jaden Daniels, the team is primed to shed its past struggles and emerge as a contender in the NFC East. Gone are the days of predictable offenses and stagnant quarterback play. With a dynamic scheme and a talented young quarterback at the helm at the very least, the Commanders are going to play an exciting brand of football that'll keep fans on the edge of their seats. There are still plenty of question marks on the offensive line. Young quarterbacks often need time to develop before they become NFL stars, and the NFC East is still stacked with both the Cowboys and Eagles hungry for dominance. But still, fans in Washington have more to be excited about now than they have since the team drafted Robert Griffin III way back in 2012. But we want to know what you guys think. Is this the beginning of an exciting era in Washington? Does the Mariota signing indicate that they're going to draft Jaden Daniels in the number two slot? Or will Washington continue to flounder in mediocrity? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more sports news and insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time.